Hey, hello, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today's tutorial is about how you can play emotes when you press a button on your keyboard and the emote plays and the, the emote has an object, a model with it. So this is an example. I press P, I play an emote and a part is part of the emote. And then I press P again and the emote stops. So you want to get started with uh, making a dummy. So you can use Moon Animator, create a dummy. If you don't know how have Moon Animator, you can go to Avatar and then Rig Builder and create a dummy here. Oh, hello. Yeah. Okay. So uh, then, when you have your dummy, uh, I expect you to already have the item you would like to use with the emote. So basically, grab your dummy and ins take the object you want, the model, and pl paste it into the dummy. Here's what I'm going to use. I don't have a model, so I'm just going to use a basic part. And then we're going to weld it. So I want, I prefer for emotes especially to just rig it towards the torso. It's way easier and it's, it's an emote. It doesn't have to be connected to an arm. So I just connect it to a torso. So I use Moon Animator, Easy Weld, and then select the torso and then select the part and then I press join not join in place just join and make sure animatable is sticked on so keep it like this I press join when you click join the part goes to the center of the torso keep it like that it's perfectly fine and then uh, if you don't have moon animator you can click on the plus icon here then type in motor 60 and then add one and then put part 0 as torso part 1 as the main part of the tool. If you're using a model, you make sure to rig all the parts to one part and rig that one part towards the torso. And so basically then you make an animation, you, I open Moon Animator, you can use the uh, animation editor here in Avatar, but I'm going to use Moon Animator. So click on the dummy, I, as you saw, I have something. So basically make your animation now, then uh, it, then export your animation and once you're done with the animation you can uh, go to starter character scripts and uh, make a local script here and basically paste this inside of the local script so this script can is uh, will be uh, pasted in uh, pastebin in the description you can copy it uh, if you don't want to type it but let me explain how this works so we're first going to make an uh, animation animation instance and we're going to give the animation I of the animation instance the ID of this. You can change it to whatever. I'm, this is the spinning ID I had. And then we're going to add a track and then we're going to use cooldowns so we can measure if the animation is playing or not playing. And then we're going to do user input server so we can check the so we can get detect the input of the player. Then just some basically player equals the character. So this grabs the character, your character, and then emote. So here uh oh yeah, I forgot. So when you're done with the animation, duplicate this part, the model you used for the animation and paste it into replicated storage and open the part and that weld that you made and put in this inside of the, and that that welder was inside of the torso this one grab the same weld co copy it don't grab it uh, just copy the weld and paste it also inside of the replicated storage of inside the main part of your model and then you can just click part one and then click part Keep part zero empty. Uh, just keep that empty, and, pa and that's it. Just paste it into. You can name it whatever you, whatever you want to. I'm going to call it part weld. So that's that. And then back to the script. So here we detect uh, the input when. So when the input begins, and then we check which input we're looking for. We're looking for the input of P. That's my keybind. You can change this to whatever you like. I keep it at P. And then we're going to put cooldown is false. So if the cooldown is false, which it is to begin with, then the emote, which I called emote zero, I called the 
model I put in replicated storage here. It, I called it emote zero. So this, we're going to do a local emote one. Make sure this is one because we're doing a new local. And that this new local is a clone, is the clone for of the part. Make sure to have this at emote one or whatever you like. Just make sure this and this is different. Not the same, this and this is different. And then emote one, uh, the parent of that is the player. So make sure this is like this. So it gets the part or the model gets inserted into the player. And then part weld, that's this part weld, part zero of it will be added towards the torso because I animated it with the torso. And then this part gets set to torso and then the parent of the weld gets put inside of the torso and then basically we load the animation onto the humanoid and we have the priority action because it's an action and then we play the track and once the track is played we put the cooldown on true uh, so we can know okay now the animation is playing and then we're going to anchor the player because it's an emote I don't want the player walking around with the emote so we anchor the player <coughs> And now we uh, go else, so we'll basically, it's a different version, so here again, if input is pressed and the cooldown is and true, so basically if this has played and the player presses the P again and the cooldown is true, so which it is, it destroys the part, then stops the track and then puts the cooldown back at false and then unanchors the player, so this can loop basically again. So you can press P to play the animation, press P again to stop the animation. If you would like a different to stop the this doesn't have to be the same as this, just you can make this anything. You, if you want it to be X, make it X, it doesn't matter. So basically that's it, so you, as you can see when I go play. As you can see and I press P, the emote plays. Nice, and then when I press P again, the emote stops and I can walk and press P I can I cannot walk and now I can that that's it this is the script again and uh, thank you for watching uh, I will post my discord server also in the description if you have any scripting issues need any help anything just join my discord we have almost 100 people already just join it ask for help in the help section or share something just hang around if you would like anything join, join the discord if you'd like it's in the description okay goodbye